Okay, so this is a set of custom made whitening trays. We've had an impression taken of a patient and they've had some trays made of their teeth. As you can see, the trays have got very comfortable scalloped edges. So you can see each individual tooth, which is custom made to the shapes of the tooth of the patient. Um, so once these trays are worn inside the mouth, that gel is not going anywhere. It's gonna have really good close contact to the teeth. It's not gonna be mixing in with the saliva um, and it's gonna be quite comfortable to wear. The way that you use the whitening trays um, with the gel is um, the gel is usually kept cold. This is just an example of the gel. There's many out there, but this for an example is Polar Night. You remove the cap from it and you place the syringe on there. So um, something like Polar Night is a nighttime tray wearing system. So at nighttime you would brush and floss your teeth like you do usually. Then you would place a small little dot of the gel inside each little compartment of the teeth. So as you can see, there's not lots. You don't fill each tooth um, up to the maximum. You literally do one little quarter of a pea size dot on each tooth. Once you've filled them up, so I don't know if you can see that on the outside, how much gel there is. I always try to place the gel into the center of the tooth or towards the incisal edge of the tooth. You then put the gel over, um, you then put the trays into your mouth. This is an example of a patient's mouth, this is her models. And then you press each tooth to allow the gel to spread across the tooth um, and it's got really, really good close contact. If you put too much gel into one of the tooth um, compartments and extra squidges out next to your gum, just get a tissue and remove any excess. With Polar Night, you wear this then overnight because this contains carbamide peroxide. which takes six hours to break down. Some of the other gels, such as Polar Day, you wear for um, a period during the day. With Polar Night then, you'd wear this at night time, go to sleep, in the morning you would wake up, you would remove the trays, give them a good wash and place them in a safe place, and then you brush and floss your teeth, um, and then you are done whitening for that day. After you've whitened your teeth, please don't have anything to drink, eat or drink for the next 30 minutes. And while you're whitening your teeth, try and have a light coloured diet. Because when you're whitening your teeth, your teeth are more porous and they're more likely to pick up stains. Um, so if you then go and have coffee or red wine, you'll not get the same whitening effect as if you would have had a really nice light coloured diet.